I live in this beautiful city Jaipur and it says 37 degrees Celsius. It's ridiculously hot and in the future it's going to be like 41 degrees and in Fahrenheit it's like 99. It's ridiculously hot. But anyways, let's get started with our JavaScript series and I hope you are enjoying it. So let's just move forward further into the series. First of all, welcome to the news section. Now so far we have learned about the most basic stuff and the intermediate stuff about JavaScript. But this point onwards we are going to be moving on to some advanced part. And if you'll ask me that what is the most important topic in JavaScript for any, whether it's a Node.js, React, Angular, whatever it is, the most important topic is what we are going to be covering here. Objects. Objects are the most powerful and most used data types in here. We have learned about the uh, simple variables and the arrays. We will be visiting them again. But right now it's a good point and good time that we start learning a little bit about objects. And I would highly recommend you to pay special attention here. So let's just get started and create a new folder. And nope, I don't want to create it here. I want to create it here in here. So I'm going to be just starting that. And I'm going to be calling it as 02 intermediate. There we go. And uh, yes, of course, I want to move it outside. Come on, why does it always create this inside? I don't know. And in the intermediate, we're going to create and we're going to start a new file. And I'm going to call this as my objects.js, of course. And there we go. So how do we get started with these objects? So just like we have seen previously that there is a uh, simple variable in which we can store a string or a number, no big deal. We have seen that we do have our arrays as well. So let's just say, let's call it as my array. And we have a data type like this in which we can store something like this, uh, a simple name, maybe a number or maybe a Boolean value, which is either true or false. That's okay. But usually what you will realize that in the in the real world, most of the data is not like this. It comes uh, in a different patch and that can be handled easily by object. Whether you want to handle any API uh, database call usually some with some of the databases like Firebase and uh, some of the API calls or a lot of things usually comes up in the form of object. So let's see how we can declare that. So let's just say I'm going to be call calling an object for YouTube. Let's just say I want to handle a single video from YouTube. So let's just say I'm going to call this as my uh, YouTube video, uh, just like that. And how do we declare this object first of all? Now that's an important question. We use these curly braces and hit enter there. Okay. We have seen these curly braces quite a lot in the if and else statement, in the loops and everywhere. In the functions as well, usually it has got a name or some condition at the starting. But in the object, it just gets started like that. Simple curly braces, nothing at all. Now this object is made up of uh, some values here. So there are some uh, keys and values onto it. There are a variety of names of it. You can completely argue on that, but I would highly not recommend that. So let's just say there is a my YouTube video, which is an object. So first of all, every video has a title and there we go. And in this title, uh, let's just say this is going to be like uh, loops, loops in JavaScript, that's the video name here, separated by comma, there we go. So this is our first entry in our object. We give it a name and uh, we get, give it a value. Now this value can be string, can be numbers, can be booleans, can be date, whatever you like to have. It's just really simple to have it like that. Then the second value what you would like to have, for example, I'm going to calling it as video length. And uh, there we go, video length is like uh, probably 15 minutes. So I'm going to just say it's in minutes and probably 15 minutes. And then it has a description as well. Description. Or it would be better if I just say it as something like video description. Okay, that makes much more sense. The more uh, elaborative you are, it's going to be easier for you in the later on field. Okay, so give your variables and everything very descriptive and elaborative name. So uh, video description, why do you have a problem? Okay, so we forgot to put a comma there. There we go. Thank you, VS Code. Video description and just let's just say uh, this is a video description and a long one, <laughs> let's just say. Okay, so there we go. Our title is ready. And this is coming up from my YouTube video. Okay, so there we go. We have learned how we can declare that. Now let me walk you through a couple of mistakes that everybody does, whether it's experienced programmer or the new one. 
The first and common mistake is missing this comma. Whether you're working on React or JS, this is a common mistake and nobody's, everybody does that. So missing a comma is the very first one. The second one is missing this semicolon and instead accidentally putting up something known as equal sign. That is not gonna give you an error right now, just like VS Code didn't give it, but in the runtime, it's a problematic situation. So make sure you check out these two if you're working on that. Okay, so there we go. Our first object is being declared and I can declare as many objects as I like, probably for my courses, for my videos. Usually everything is stored in just like that way. Okay, so there we go. We have learned how we can declare that. Now the problem is how we can access that. So it's really simple. First of all, let's access the whole thing, which is my YouTube video. Save that and open up our terminal. And there we go. Probably we are onto the wrong directory. Uh, yep, we are not into it. So let's just move into this 02 intermediate and uh, control L to clean that up. We're gonna run that node, myobject.js and make sure you know how to travel into the directories. So there we go, it has printed out exactly same things, uh, these curly braces, and then inside that we have these title, video length, and description. There we go, no problem at all. Now in here, notice that we have given this 15 as a string, not as a number, but in case you are worried a little bit about it, no worries at all, you can use your numbers, boolean, whatever you like to have, no problem at all. Okay, there we go, so it's completely optional to you. And now let's just get rid of that. Now, if we want to access any specific value uh, out of this uh, object, then it's also really simple. We can simply log that and we'll be calling back our friend, the tickle guys. And we're gonna be saying something like that. Hey, new uh, video on title by, and I forgot to have like, I didn't have an author here. So video creator should be a new one. So let's just say video creator, there we go. And let's just write my name here. There we go. And don't forget to put a comma there. So there we go. Video, a new video on title, a new video on and title by and author. So this is our string that we want to give, but obviously we want to fetch this data from our object. So instead of the title, what we can do is we can just uh, use a dollar sign instead use these curly braces and can call this, okay? Which is my, I can just copy it so that I don't make these mistakes. My video, my YouTube video, and as soon as you're gonna put a dot, then you can access all the properties which are inside this object. So in this case, a new video on, and I want to access the title here, and a video by author, in place of author, I want to say video creator. So I can just delete that, use my dollar sign, curly braces, and then I can just paste this, my YouTube video dot and video creator. So there we go. It's a little bit longer, uh, but I hope you can see that. Okay, there we go. So this is what we are having. So this is really the simple and the most basic stuff about the object. Obviously we'll be going into the advanced one later on. So let's just run this and there we go. So it says, hey, new video on loops in JavaScript by me. So there we go. So this is the most basic one and eventually when we'll be working on Firebase or some APIs, you'll be noticing that you will be getting an object just like this and eventually what you have to do is uh, simply uh, fetch these things and work on that. Now I want to show you something more things apart from just having the temperature here. So uh, let's just have an API, API from, uh, random, uh, random API. So let me just walk you through that, how this is gonna be useful for us. So there we go, notice these curly braces, I hope you can see them properly. So there we go, notice we have got an API and in which we have got these uh, key value pairs. Of course it can be in the string as well, no problem, or can be like simple variable stuff. And since we have to, let's just say we have a whole list of APIs, we have to get all these products. So what we can do is we can call that API, can run a loop on this, and can just print out whole stack of whatever the item is being like purchased or anything like that. So yes, it's pretty easy stuff after that. And eventually we'll be doing that, no problem. But again, as I always say, move always in a step-by-step -step procedure so that you can understand everything. Okay, so that's it for this video. We will be exploring a little bit more about these uh, objects in the upcoming videos as well, and I highly recommend you to pay attention. Now comes up the fun part, which is assignment. 
assignment i hope i wrote that correct assignment there we go so here's a quick assignment for you uh, you have to create a simple object the object should be about my course let's just say i have a javascript course uh, the javascript course has a name uh, has a price as well as has a description okay so make sure you create an object for all these three uh, points which i mentioned and also write a console log simply saying that hey there is a new course uh, with the course name by author at a price this and has a description this okay so i hope that's a pretty simple assignment i hope everybody will be able to do it so that's it for this video and i'm going to surely catch you up in the next one